Kementerian Kesihatan ingin memaklumkan bahawa tiada kes baru dilaporkan pada hari ini 29 Februari 2020. Jumlah kumulatif kes COVID-19 yang dilaporkan sehingga hari ini kekal sebanyak 25 kes dengan 3 kes terbaru iaitu kes ke-23, kes 24 dan kes ke-25 yang masih dirawat di ward. Kesemua tiga kes yang masih dirawat di hospital berikut adalah dalam keadaan stabil. Kes ke-23 wanita warga negara Malaysia dirawat di pusat perubatan University Malaya. Kes ke-24 wanita warga negara Jepun dirawat di hospital Kuala Lumpur dan kes ke-25 lelaki warga negara Itali dirawat di hospital Sungai Buloh. Sehubungan dengan itu, jumlah kes telah pulih sepenuhnya dan discharge sehingga hari ini ialah 22 orang. Sehingga 29 Februari 2020, seramai 1,619 individu telah diambil sampel bagi pengesanan jangkitan penyakit coronavirus 2019. Mereka terdiri daripada uh, patient under investigation, kontak rapat kepada kes positif, individu yang tiba melalui misi bantuan dan kapal uh, persiaran. Setakat ini, Uh, kes positif jangkitan ialah 1.5% dan misi bantuan kemanusiaan seramai 66 warga negara Malaysia dan ahli keluarga bukan warga negara dibawa balik uh, di Wuhan, China pada 25 Februari 2020 dan kini uh, berada di pusat pemantauan di Akademi Akademi Kepimpinan Pendidikan Tinggi ACAP dan semua dalam keadaan sihat Saringan kesihatan melalui ujian pengesahan COVID-19 semasa kepertibaan mendapati semua adalah negatif. Mereka akan terus berada di ICAP bagi tujuan pemantauan kesihatan selama 14 hari bermula pada 26 Februari 2020 hingga 11 Mac 2020. Nah, merujuk kepada uh, Sekatan Perjalanan Korea Selatan, kenyataan Akbar Ketua Pengarah Kesihatan bertarik 20 8 Februari 2020 dimaklumkan bahawa bagi warga negara Republik Korea sekatan perjalanan hanya dikenakan ke atas mereka yang datang dari bandar Daegu dan daerah Chongdu sahaja. Namun begitu warga negara Republik Korea yang telah meninggalkan bandar Daegu dan daerah Chongdu melebihi 14 hari dari tarikh ketibaan ke Malaysia tiada sekatan perjalanan. Bagi semua pelawat asing dari Bandar Daegu dan daerah Chongdu juga dikenakan sekatan perjalanan sekiranya pernah berada di tempat tersebut dalam tempoh 14 hari dari tarikh ketibaan. Namun begitu, pelawat asing yang telah meninggalkan Bandar Daegu dan daerah Chongdu melebihi 14 hari dari tarikh ketibaan ke Malaysia tiada sekatan perjalanan. Bagi warga negara Malaysia iaitu pelawat pemegang pas jangka panjang, penduduk tetap dan pelajar asing yang pernah berada di Bandar Daegu dan daerah Chongdu dalam temp, uh, tersebut dalam tempoh 14 hari tiada sekatan perjalanan walau bagaimanapun mereka dikehendaki menjalani saringan kesihatan seperti yang ditetapkan oleh Kementerian Kesihatan. At the moment, we are watching closely the development in Iran and Italy, and uh, uh, what we are trying to do is advisory now, giving advisory, health advisory to those countries rather than imposing the ban. So the ban is mainly uh, applicable to three provinces in China: that is uh, Hubei, Jiangsu, as well as Zhejiang and uh, the, to these two new areas that is actually the city of Daegu as well as Chongdu County. And Dr. there are reports in China saying that uh, this COVID-19, there are cases reappearing in patients who have recovered. Uh, so are there extra precautionary measures taken or okay. Indeed, even uh, 22 of our patients before discharge, we need to have counseling with them uh, to reinforce that they can be reinfected again. So they too need to take precaution 
and perhaps uh, reinfection is one of them that we have to see. But we need to base on the scientific data to support the claims. Is, are you also considering travel ban um, from Japan? Because Japan is one of the... So we are watching the development in Japan, uh, in uh, cities like Tokyo and Sapporo. And uh, do they, they do have cases, uh, but the, we are worried if there's a marked increase in the cases. But so far, we, are, uh, we have not done any uh, plan for the two cities. But more importantly is to observe closely and to monitor the situation. Uh, but what we are trying to uh, have here is to help advisory to all our citizens travelling to the countries. If possible, postpone the trip. If, if not, then take uh, precautionary measures and uh, maintain a good hygiene. What is the threshold as in um, uh, marked increase in, in, in the COVID-19? So we do have, uh, for example, in Malaysia, our uh, positive uh, detection rate is about 1.5%, right? 1.5% as compared to other countries. And if you were to look at the incidence of COVID confirmed cases by selected countries, Malaysia stands at 0.8%. And uh, for example, Hubei, China is 0.8% per 1 million population. So we are looking at 1 million population, the incidence. Eh? And Hubei is 1,140. And, uh, and uh, Korea is uh, 597.5. So it's much higher than us. And looking into Korea, other cities are 144.6. So if you look into Italy, it's 22.6. If you look into uh, other countries, so we have the list uh, in terms of uh, where do we stand <coughs> and before we make any decision. Of, Japan, uh, how are these uh, for, at the moment, uh, Iran is actually, if we, Japan is of, uh, 1.8 and uh, Iran is about 4.8. So now the issues of Iran and issues Japan as well as Korea and uh, Italy. So we are looking into uh, incidence uh, of infection per 1 million population. So that is one of our guide to make a decision whether we can or not. Dr. Sorry, one last question is, yesterday one Japanese woman um, was, was positive diagnosed yes. in Malaysia. Yeah. Do we know, uh, I understand from the press release, she first went to Japan and then went to Indonesia mm -hmm. and then came back to India. Do we know where in Japan she Yeah, went? we are doing the contact tracing for all the three cases. Uh, case 23, case 24 and case 25. Case 23 is our local. Wagadara Malaysia have been to Japan, uh, mainly in Tokyo and Sapporo. So we have informed our counterparts in uh, Japan, IHR, and they are taking action. Tokyo, uh, Tokyo and Sapporo. Uh, so I think we are investigating in terms of contact tracing, etc. Local and as well as abroad. The second uh, in case 24, uh, the Japanese lady have been to uh, Tokyo as well as in Jakarta. And also they have, uh, she has actually uh, multiple meetings as well, meeting foreigners for example, uh, in uh, in her business meeting. So again, we are doing the contact tracing. So we are doing what the, the needful. Uh, more importantly, the case number 25, uh, they have been to Milan also for a business meeting and she came back and was uh, noted to have some symptoms and test positive. And that also uh, have been admitted to our ward. We were watching closely and the contact tracing is ongoing. Mm -hmm. This is to seek uh, clarification on uh, Case that has been going viral. Apparently, there's a case suspected in Sarawak, maybe a passenger suspected for COVID. Well, we do have uh, uh, cases suspected from Sarawak, from Sabah, from Labuan, uh, and it's under PUI. But at the moment, none of them have been tested positive. So we have tested, as I mentioned earlier, one, more than 1,600 cases. The positivity of our testing is only 25 cases at the moment. Like when the, Jap the Japanese lady case, uh, case 24, uh, when was she in Tokyo and when did she go to Japan? We have the history and the details here, but uh, we can actually, uh, because this is some of the, uh, she was in Tokyo December, 22nd of December. Then she returned to Malaysia uh, 5th of January and been to Jakarta on the 14th of February and uh, have multiple meetings in between. Came back from Jakarta uh, 16th of uh, February and the 17th again, multiple meetings uh, locally. So we are tracing the contact, uh, you know, and the, the people that actually have uh, met her during a period of time. Do you think she got it from Japan? So we need to actually look into our contact tracing. That's how we trace uh, cases. Uh, we have been doing it in, the, in the, all the 22 cases before. 
So we have done well in that sense. But if they come back, you know, and inform us early, that's much easier for us to con the contact uh, tracing. But I think the, the, the duration also play a factor here. So now it's wider scope for us to actually uh, to trace uh, the, the people who have contact with her. That's a challenge for us in Ministry of Health. Okay. Uh, case ke uh, 24 tu dah ada 60 kontak lebih lah. Case yang ke 23 uh, contohnya untuk uh, family members lah sebab dia travel dengan family members. Tapi family members semua tested negatif. Sekarang ni rakan-rakan dia lah kalau kita pun uh, tracing the rakan-rakan. So far I think we are doing our best lah. So tak ada yang positif lagi dah setakat. Uh,